Gaia wants my love. Mm -hmm. So let's now begin to transmit that light to Gaia. Tell me how you do it. Just energy. Mm -hmm. I just have to touch her, walk on her. She feels me. She just gets it. Mm -hmm. I keep it open and she receives it. She needs it so much. Mm -hmm. It's hurting so much. Mm-hmm. Okay. So give her love. Begin giving mm -hmm. her love now. <laughs> she likes it. It helps. Every little bit helps. Every little bit helps. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tell me what you feel back from Guy as you give her this love. This unconditional love. Gratitude. Gratitude. It's reward and gratitude. Mm -hmm. Welcome. She likes me being here. Mm -hmm. she wants me to feel welcome. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I say to her, thank you. Mm -hmm. What else does Gaia tell you? We're not. Mm -hmm. She's so sweet and welcomes it. Mm -hmm. Tell me louder so Every I can hear. Every speck of love we give her, she is willing to accept gratefully. She needs it. She loves it. And wants us all to give positive thoughts. Just touch her everywhere we go. Touch a leaf, teach the children to touch the plants, not break them. Don't break the trees, don't break the leaves. Don't tear up the flowers, smell them. They smell so good because it gives you love back. It's, it's a give and take and it's beautiful, it's a day. We have to teach our children to be nice and kind to Earth because we want to have one for long if we keep doing what we do. <laughs> we destroyed her so much. And it starts with us teaching the children that are going to grow so fast. We were children, we forgot. Oh my gosh, we forgot. We are to take care of her because she takes care of us. She lets us be here on top of her. We're not inside like we're supposed to be. Some of us come from far away and don't want to be here. But why not? She's beautiful. And we need to respect her and share that respect, show it. And it all starts with sticks and stones that children learn to kick and throw. That's not nice. That's not teaching them love. Even the ants bite because they get mad at us. They have more respect for Gaia than we do. We don't even know how to respect an ant. We squish them and we kill them. And they have more of our right to be here than we do. That makes her mad. She wants my love. She wants everybody's love. Don't hide from the sun. Sit out there, enjoy it. You know the times of day you can be out there safely without burning. 
and do it. Go out there and do it. Teach the children that. You don't have to put all this white stuff and sprays on you. Be away from the sun. It's a good energy source. Without him, we're nothing. We die. Without the water from Gaia, we die. Without the earth, we die. Why do we hurt the things that nourish us? How do we think we have the right to do so? Why do we hide in block buildings? Behind concrete. Instead of the old days, wise men build their houses in wood. They didn't use concrete. Concrete blocks the energy. The stupid thing that people do now. Why do we live like that? Then you wonder why you're carrying all the stress. Cell phones, all that contamination comes from buildings. Why don't we know this anymore? What happened? Makes Gaia mad. She understands that other things are coming to blur our minds, but we have to be smarter. We have a soul. We have a beautiful soul. Not a religion. It's not based on anyone. It's only one source, divine, smart, and made us all. That we've forgotten about. Shame on us for forgetting. She says, if we connect with her, it all comes back. Don't stress about meditation, she tells me. It's just a word. Just have to relax and enjoy the beauty every day. As I drive, as I walk, as I step out into the sun, there's beauty. The air is beautiful. And I live in a very nice state where I can enjoy it daily. Very grateful. Mm -hmm. What does Gaia want to tell the world? Remember who you are. Remember who you are. You all come from light. There's only one divine light. There's not many gods. Only one. The real one, the master of all universes. Come to me for comfort, she says. I can remind you with my nature of him, the prime creator one, the almighty love. And you and your children will be reminded. But if you hide, like you do now, and get busy with things of this world that won't even last, your souls will be shattered. You won't make it. I'll have to go alone with only a few. gonna go but only with a few if we don't listen what do we have to do Gaia to go with you leave your ego leave your ego behind the less the better
connect again. Find your connection. Connect with me. I'll give you love. And your love and my love will be enough for anything that comes in the way to try to hurt us. They won't win. What's trying to hurt you, Gaia? The ones out there. They know what I'm going to do. I'm a powerful being, although small in the universes. I am powerful. But I am full of love and I won't let anyone stop me. It is my time. It is my turn now. I've waited for this. I've worked for this. I deserve it. I claim it and Source agrees with me. What is it that you're doing? Connect all the universes, once and for all. Divine light will be one. Those that don't want it are going to have to be left out, destroyed if they don't want to learn. They'll be given chances. But we don't want to keep the cycle moving and there's other universes, beautiful already ascending and loving and the rest must catch up now what happens to those that don't go with you they'll get warnings they'll get warnings and given chances because source is love he's not a destroyer there are those that want to destroy. Don't have to repent. Or be left out. They won't exist anymore. Because it's what they've chosen. That's all I'm allowed to tell. Very good. All right, so that was a great session. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So tell everybody how it feels to be in hypnosis. It feels like you're here, but you're not. <laughs> <laughs> still trying to get grounded. You're still, you're still, she's trying to get grounded. So it's, what did it feel like to you? It's amazing. Because mm -hmm. at first I thought I'm going to go to sleep. I'm mm -hmm. sorry, I'm going to doze off here. No, hypnosis is not sleep. And, and no, it's not. And then when you start talking, when your higher self steps in, Yeah. You're thinking, this is not me, this is not how I talk, who is this woman, mm -hmm. <laughs> who is this voice? Yeah. And you sort of don't have any control because you, higher self, wants to speak. Right, so it just comes so out. it comes out, mm -hmm. naturally. Mm -hmm. Now, what did it feel like to be connected with Gaia? It was so strong. Mm -hmm. It was so powerful. Um, the pain, though, the pain yeah. was there. Yeah. Um, but the love... And then um, the message of hope, mm -hmm. and it's just it's magical. Yeah, everything that she she has to offer. Yeah, so that was nice. Now, one of the things that you had told me in our interview is that you didn't want to be here anymore. Right. You didn't like being here. Yeah. How do you feel now? Totally different. <laughs> totally different. Tell everybody, thought, tell everybody how you feel. I, I did not want to be here at all. I always felt like, uh, what am I doing here? I hated it. Um, I knew this planet wasn't for me, and, and yeah. I just did not want to be here. And now, after especially, yeah, that's probably why I had that, I don't know. That reaction? That rea that's probably why she came through, maybe? Yes. Is, it was very strong, and so I have so much... And recently, I've had more respect for her as I'm yes. learning more and more about the awakening. And but now that you have that connection, it's like okay, it's now you, real. It's, it's like you know why things. you came here now. Yes, now I know. Yeah, and, and now I know what to do. And all that negativity and it's not. It's gone. There. No, yeah, it's not there anymore. That's wonderful. So, do you recommend this to other people? Definitely do. <laughs> and, and don't wait. Mm -hmm. uh, I waited six months, but I did book it right away. But. And now what I see is I go, oh, gosh. I'm booked way 
Way out. Way out. Are mm -hmm. you traveling everywhere? And I'm traveling everywhere. So I'm trying to get to as many cities as possible. Yes. But, um, you know, there's only me. I can't <laughs> clone myself. And, Why not? <laughs> <laughs> and I spend four hours with each client. So it's a big chunk of time. time. So, But I think it's worth it. Oh, it's so worth it. Mm -hmm. Every dime is worth it. The time that takes you to get here is worth it. Yeah. I told you to pinch me because <laughs> you're like pinch me, pinch me. So uh, I gasped when I saw you. It's yeah, like, I waited so long to I see you. I know it was it was wonderful. It was oh, wonderful. Oh, yes, I'm so grateful for everything you Thank do. Thank you very and, much. And I really hope people are encouraged to do this and, mm -hmm. and really connect and um, help other people. We really need to. This is what out. we're here for. We're here. Each one of us is very important. We're all here to bring in that light from source. Send it to Gaia. Send her your love, and let's get all on board. Thank you for watching, and if you want to book a session with me, go to albaweinman.com. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Bye.